An iconic piece of New Westminster is lost. A community is grappling with its revived historic waterfront being destroyed by fire. But will the pier be rebuilt? It's, yeah, it's really hard. It was heartbreaking. It was condemned and it was contaminated way back when they first started working on the first half. But they managed to surface it and create a safe surface. But we always had concern about it. James Crosty is the former president of the Keyside Community Board. He says there were missteps when the city built that part of the pier, which left it extremely vulnerable. Underneath it were people that were homeless for living under there. And in the winter, they would burn things to keep warm. But always a big concern. And it wasn't really designed to be used. They should have held off and, and maybe run some fire suppression under there. They knew. They knew that creosote and fire were not a good mix. So we can go back and say, in hindsight, we should have done something. But here we are today, 10 years later, and it's, it's gone. The portion of the pier that was engulfed in flames is identified in red. But the green, newer sections of Pier Park remain intact. The west part is where sort of the playground is and the grass field is that were um, built onto a new pier and built onto a new deck. And that's really the heart of Pier Park. But the programmed areas that we've lost in the timber wharf um, is where the urban beach was, the, the, um, the beach volleyball areas, the swings. This isn't the first time New Westminster has encountered a riverfront fire. The Great Fire of 1898 tore through the city. And ironically, the 122nd anniversary of that fire was just days before this section of the pier went up in smoke. It started on the wharf on the evening of September 10th and about 200 tons of hay that had been drying throughout the entire summer. It quickly moved into some steam stern wheelers that were along the side of the wharf there and they kind of floated downstream and bounced along other wharves as they went, lighting off new fires. <laughs> it's a bit of irony both in the date as well as where it started. It, the original fire in 1898 really started just a shade further downstream. As far as plans to rebuild, the city is waiting to release information until it can fully assess the damage. It's best just to stay inside and, and we'll see where, where we are. Um, I don't know. And then we'll have to have those conversations about what comes next. In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.